Hey YouTube, Monkey Wrench Mike here. Thank you for tuning in. Today you're going to have to excuse my appearance. I actually have a hole in my shorts right here. I'm dressed like this because I am going to get really, really nasty. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding. I would never ever do that. I don't want to put you through that. This is what we're working with right here. Right there. Yeah, see that? That is the transmission that I got for free when I bought the classic Mercedes. So this is going to go into that car over there. We're putting this transmission they said was good. I hope it's good. And we're going to put it in the 560 SEC. Safety first, everybody. Look at all those jack stands and jacks and ramps. I don't want this car falling on my head. Let's see how much this thing weighs. Because I guarantee you, it's a lot. Does it say right here? Gross vehicle weight? It does. 4,745 pounds. Look at that right there. 4,745 two tons of fun and this was made in 01 of 1990 all right she's a heavy girl but listen to that see that's why i love mercedes okay so what we're doing you know it's serious when i get the crawler out i usually don't like these because you know two inches makes a huge difference when you've only got a couple of feet to work with okay let me show you what we're doing here and i have printed off some of the directions i couldn't find a whole lot on ebay ebay what am i talking about i couldn't find a whole lot on the world wide web i did find one post on ben's world i think or uh mb world one of the two okay so this is the transmission okay what this person said needs to happen first is you take off the exhaust, okay? Two 13 millimeter bolts. That's all that holds on that piece right there, okay? And then you have three hangers as the exhaust, hi! Three hangers as the exhaust kind of goes to the back of the car. This is easy to remove, okay? That was easy. I also want to tell you that, ow, as far as room goes when you get this thing, well, you do have some room. You know, there's the bell housing. This is the tranny pan. This is your flex plate right here. Okay, so there's three 10 millimeter hex bolts that have to come off right there. And these things are on really, really tight. Okay, a couple of electrical connectors along the side right there. As far as this side, uh, you have the fill tube okay that's it right there and then you have a couple of connectors right there this isn't a huge 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 job from what i can see so far so what i plan to do is i'm going to read the directions and then i'm going to do it in fast motion then i'll kind of come back and explain what i did and why so it's a little backwards it's a little funky monkey but that's okay hey funky monkey i kind of like that oh look what else i'm noticing yeah, look at all those tie rod ends that are all gone. Well, we have more opportunities to create more videos. But the thing I want to do today is to get this transmission out and the other one in because I'm hoping that the other one has a reverse gear because this one does not. All right, let's have some fun. Yay! Working from the top to the bottom. That's what the guy says. So. What I've done, I have removed the air filter right there. And the guy says you have to remove the vacuum, the uh, brake master cylinder vacuum hose. Okay, so we just had a 17 and a 19 that attach right there. See, 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 okay. That is detached. I had the throttle cable. I just popped that off right there. And this guy also says that you have to do the kick down uh, cable so that is this guy right there with the little red thing 
So what you have to do, according to this guy, I'm going to keep calling him. Let's make up a name for him. Uh, um, let's not make up a name for him because I can't think of anything. Uh, we have three hex bolts to remove, okay, to get the throttle plate off. And then we take this little cable out and there's a C-clip that holds it down right there. But this is the kick down cable. Okay, so we're going to take this off. And hopefully that will be all that we have to do up above. And then we get to go down there and get dirty. We're going to get dirty. We are having a good day so far, let me tell you. These are my uh, directions right there, and I'm kind of following them, and it's really, really, really making sense. So, what we have done, what has happened so far, is we have removed the two banjo bolts. There's one here, and there's one right there. This is also a vacuum hose. It goes across and it goes in right there. So we've disconnected that. We have disconnected the shift rod linkage, which is voila, right there. It's just a clip, you push that off and then when I can lower this some more, I'm gonna pop that out. This is an electrical connector that I have to push some tab down to get it out. So I'm still trying to figure that out right there. But we have the uh, transmission support. We have that removed. We have this sitting on a transmission jack. Thank you very much, Harbor Freight. And there is a, or there was a big, kind of a support bar that goes across in front of the bell housing, just below it. Um, and there are six bolts. They were 17 mil and we removed them, except I only had five because this one is broken. That one bolt broke off in there. Somebody has been under here, oops, before. Okay, so what we're doing now, I have the four top bolts of the bell housing. I had those removed. Those are 17 millimeters. I just needed a little eight, eight inch extension and I still have to get these four, one, two, three, and four. But we need to get the six bolts off of the torque converter. So you guys are gonna get to watch me do this. I've already done one. It's important that you only turn the engine clock away, clock -wise, not anti, because that will screw it up. So let me see if I can get this pointed there. Okay, this is the little window. There were two 10, 10 millimeter bolts right there and it removed this little screen and I want you to watch for two bolts that will come into play right there. Okay, we're gonna watch. And then when we can see them, we're gonna stop. Yeah, this is hard to turn. I still got all these belts and everything attached. Okay, can you kind of see one right there? Here it comes. Oh, look at that, here it comes. Come on, there we go, look at that. Ah, okay, those are 13s, yay. Really everything I've needed is a 10, a 13, 17, and 19, whether that's gonna be sockets or wrenches. Really, that's all you need. Oh, and 10 millimeter Allen uh, bolt. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this without knocking the camera over. Oh, shoot. We're gonna try to do this without knocking the camera over. Take two. There we go. There's one. And I need a little extension, like a teeny tiny extension, but it doesn't work. Ugh. There we go, see? Just like that. So we're gonna take these off and then we're going to turn it some more, take the final 
two off. And then we have the big reveal. Sound effects, please. Yeah, I thought that would be a funny little sound effect for you. Okay, so let me let go. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to let you guys see what's going on here. Here we go. And this is going to be Uno Boltero. I make up my own Spanish. And then we have another one. And these are about maybe an inch long. So we're going to take these two out, turn it, take two more out. And then we loosen the bottom four, the one connector. And I think we'll be good to lower this thing. Okay, here we go. Two more. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. Why am I saying that? I don't even know. There's one. There's two. Okay. Now, hopefully these will come off just like the others. Hopefully. Okay, there's one. And there's two. I think that's all we got to do as far as TCs go, torque convertos, or torque convertos, if you speak Spanglish. I'm still making up words. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to give you guys some good music. We're going to lower, we're going to take the two bolt, the four bolts off. One, two, three, four. We're going to bring the transmission down, figure out how to do that round electrical plug and then this transmission i believe will be history okay so i think i've just found a problem i think i have just found a problem because oh well i can fix it but it's going to be another bolt okay let me show you this is the transmission cooler line fluid fluid line you follow it back follow it back and it's attached here but to get that bell housing off I'm gonna have to move it and if it's attached I don't like that so I'm going to undo it here and hopefully I can swing it out of the way directions did not mention that haha <laughs> so we're gonna fix this and then we'll have some music for you all right be right back Okay, let me show you what's going on. We had a little tactical error um, because I didn't have enough room when the transmission was on the jack to get it out of the car. I can't jack it up high enough, okay? So what I had to do is take it off of the dolly, drag it across, put the other one on a piece of carpet, that one right there, drag it back under, and then kind of um, use two screw type jacks one in the front one in the back kind of jack that up until i could put my transmission dolly underneath that was so much fun okay that was worth the price of admission but as i do this side crawl in here this is what we're looking at right now okay this is where it goes right there one thing the guy in the directions forgot to tell me is that on top of the transmission of course there's your um What's it called? Crankshaft position sensor, I believe. So you have to take that out before you can. Um, it's right up here. Yeah, you got to take that out before you can drop the transmission. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get it buttoned up, get the four bolts on top, the four bolts on the bottom, um, leave it on the jack, and then I'm going to go back and do all the little connectors on the left and the right. And then we're going to call it a night. And I'm going to go in and research exactly how to get that cable on. Because that's just going to be a lot of fun too. 
Uh, but anyway, the card looks half decent. I don't see any huge leaks or anything. Um, let's go ahead and give you some music. We'll put this thing up into the car. On <laughs> back it's day two new crappy shorts new crappy shirt but I want to show you something this is what the power of the internet can do for you this is the old transmission this is called the Bowden cable where it goes into the said transmission okay I had no idea how to get this stupid thing out and I didn't want to break it because in the old transmission it was good and the one I got they had just pulled this thing out so basically, I had to go to Mercedes Source, and Kent, you are the man. Thank you very much for that. I spent $12 on your video, and I'm happy about it. So basically, it goes right here on the side of the transmission, okay? And it sits just like this, okay? All you have to do to get this thing out is push this tab in right here, twist it counterclockwise, and then pop it out. This was what's really giving me a problem right here. This little arm right here is attached to a lever inside there and I thought oh crap the whole throttle body has to come out I got to figure out how to take out that arm and everything no at the bottom of this thing there's a little plastic cap with a hole in it that this arm sets into so you have to push it down get some needle nose pliers kind of hold this right here in place and then put that little cap on it let go the arm kind of sucks it up because it's spring loaded then you push this in, tap it a couple of times right here, and twist it. And it sits just like that. And then your Bowden cable comes up here, and then it runs up to your, um, where your throttle, your throttle plates and all that kind of stuff are. Okay, so we've got that done. We've got that transferred to the new old transmission. I did have to take out the drive shaft because there's no room okay yeah I had to take him off this is getting to be a bigger and bigger project every single minute so I took the drive shaft apart I tried to get it undone back there at the flex plate and then I thought you know what let's just take it apart here in the middle where it attaches to those splines right there so I did that and now look how much room I have for the transmission to go back up this is brilliant Okay, let's do this in fast motion. We're going to raise the transmission. We're going to attach it. I'm going to attach all these little electrical plugs right here. And then, hopefully, we'll get this thing working. All right, you want some good music? Okay, class, here we go. Okay, we are wrapping up. The best weekend I've had in a long time, and I'm being totally fake about that. Okay, this has been a huge, huge deal. Okay, the transmission is in, but remember taking off the two bolts, cranking the engine, two bolts, cranking the engine to get this part off um, the torque converter? Yeah, when you reattach the engine, make sure that the holes line up, because if you don't, there's a little nut on the back of the... Um, flywheel and you can't adjust it so then you got to take the transmission all these little bolts then you got to back it up about an inch and then get it in there so the holes line up okay we did that and that was so much fun now we have all of this torqued up we have our banjo bolts attached I don't know why they call them banjo bolts because they are not fun at all and they don't even make good music okay those things are a pita to put on pain in the you know what okay but we have the electrical connector we have the vacuum connector we have the shift connector everything's looking good up here now we get to put the drive line in we're going to put the cross member on we're going to put the cross member that goes below the front of the bell housing on as well and then we should be done She 
tree is almost all buttoned up. I have every nut, every bolt, every screw except for one. And in the truest monkey wrench fashion, I get everything done and I'm trying to tighten up the vacuum line here. So I thought, oh, hey, look, I can just part this. There's a little screw that's so right on top there. See, I can just unscrew the screw, do that, tighten that up, put it back up. Guess what happened? Yes, that screw did a triple lindy. Remember Ronnie Dangerfield? Was that what it was, the triple lindy? It did a jump and a flip and a twist and two more jumps and it's down in there somewhere. It's a teeny, 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 tiny screw. So I have to get a teeny, teeny, teeny screw tomorrow. Oh look, I just found that too. Yeah, let's just leave tools in the engine because that's fun. So we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow morning will be nice and fresh. Well, you guys wanna see what I look like? It's gonna be scary. Okay, you wanna see me in all of my glory? Yep, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, isn't this just gorgeous? Okay, so we're gonna take a break. We're gonna get that teeny tiny screw. We're gonna get some Dex 3 transmission fluid and then we're gonna get this car back on the road. So don't move because a cleaner mic is coming up. It's a new day here at the duck house. You can't tell it, but that is a duck bush. Okay, so we're gonna give this a try. What we've done, we've put in the uh, transmission and I put some fluid in it and I said a little prayer and let's see what happens. Okay, here, Ugh. okay. Ready for the prayer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look, the seatbelt's coming out. Thank you. Okay, here, let's see. Okay, there's just a little bit of gas in there and I'll show you why. But what I wanna do, I wanna go backwards. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going backwards. We're literally going in reverse. Holy moly. Okay, now, can you feel it? Okay, bye-bye seatbelt, okay? And watch, hopefully we go forward. And we go forwards. Holy moly, we did it, gang. Let's go backwards again, because that was so much fun. We're going backwards, 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 and forwards. See the lift? The rear lifted up a little bit. So you gotta fix the gas pedal because you gotta push it really hard. And we're going forwards. Hallelujah. And that my friends is how you put in a freaking transmission by yourself in the driveway in as long of time as possible. Yeah, that was like two or three days of total fun. But guess what? It works. I'm happy about it. Great little video for the channel. Maybe somebody can watch this and learn from my mistakes. But most importantly, we got it working. So yes, the car goes forward, it goes backwards. Hopefully there's gears two, three, and four. We'll find out. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're gonna end this video with a happy day. <laughs>